You can write down everything that, that I'm saying to you to make notes of it. It doesn't matter if it makes sense to anyone else. I want it to make sense to you. Okay, so you can write, I'm going to play a G so many times or whatever. So as I walk through this with you, and I'm going to play it very slowly so that, so that you can check out everything. But the most important part, Matthew, is to remember everything and want you to commit it all to memory. And committing a song to memory takes a little bit of time if you've never done that before. Okay? So you can play along with me right now, and you can pull back that pedal just like that, and you can just play quietly, okay? Just in case you, you happen to mess up. Okay? Here we go, buddy. Okay. We're going to play it very slowly. We're starting out with the introduction. That's what you'd write down. Three, four. That was three times through G, D, D, C for the chorus, okay? Okay, that was three times through. So it goes G, D, D, C, D, D, G, D, D, C, D, D, G, D, D, C. Now, E minor is what we're coming up with. Okay, this is E, the E string, then to C right here. Back to the intro, okay? So you can write that down, D, so D, D. Do. No, they're hit equal, okay. they're hit equal space between each other. So it's like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. 
each time that you hit four of those notes together, that's what's called a measure. Okay, and we're hitting quarter notes. There are four quarters inside of that measure. Okay, so here we go with the D. Three, there's a D. Got it. Three, two, three, four, two, three. Very good. And D. Two, three, four, two, three, four. Again. Just write it down. 